Hey guys, what's up? This is your pharmacist Sidra with another topic on health and wellness. Today, I'm going to talk about not just only on the benefits of vitamin B12, but also what are some of the signs and symptoms that suggest that you have a deficiency of this crucial vitamin. So stick around, don't go anywhere. Vitamin B12, also known as cobalamin, does a lot of things for your body, like it helps produce energy, makes uh, red blood cells and DNA. It also keeps nerve system or nerve cells healthy. So if you want to stay healthy, you definitely want to make sure that you get enough vitamin B12 because your body does not make this vitamin or any other supplement, but naturally it's not produced within the body. Now, another thing to remember is that vitamin D is water soluble. That means that your body cannot store it in its fat tissues. And anytime you pee or excrete, you're gonna lose this vitamin. So you should be taking it as fast as you're excreting it, right? Now, vitamin B12 is found mostly in animal-based foods like your chicken, beef, uh, fish like salmon. Uh, it also is present in milk and eggs. So that's really step one in ensuring the intake of this vitamin in its natural form. So what happens is when you eat these foods, vitamin B12 is released from protein in these foods with the help of acid and enzyme in the stomach. And that stomach acid is the hydrochloride acid. Now, if you have diet restriction or you're malnourished, you can take vitamin B12 from external sources like supplements and that's the synthetic vitamin B12, which is released in free form in the body. And then it can combines with the intrinsic factor, which is a substance secreted by the stomach cells, which enable it to be absorbed from the small intestine. Now, people who consume adequate amounts of vitamin B12 rich foods and are able to properly absorb and use this nutrient doesn't necessarily need to supplement vitamin B12 because their body has adequate amounts of vitamin B12, okay? But those who are not taking all these food sources and are malnourished, they definitely, uh, you know, need to take external source of vitamin B12. Now, vitamin B12 have so many health benefits, like it may support your bone health. One study in more than 2,500 adults showed that people with a vitamin B12 deficiency also had uh, lower than normal uh, bone mineral density, and the bones with decreased bone mineral density uh, can become delicate, fragile over time, and you know, over time it leads to increased risk of osteoporosis and fracture can easily happen. Also, vitamin B12 plays a vital role in helping your body produce red blood cells. Now, see, healthy red blood cells are small and round, whereas uh, they become larger and typically oval in shape when you have vitamin B12 deficiency. So due to this larger and irregular shape of these red blood cells, they are not able to move freely in the body, um, in the bone marrow actually. So because of this irregularly larger shape, these blood blood cells are not able to move freely uh, from the bone marrow into the bloodstream at an appropriate rate, and that causes megaloblastic anemia. So definitely make sure you have a proper intake of vitamin B12. Vitamin B12, you know, another reason why vitamin B12 is so important is because it may help improve your mood and energy level. And honestly, to tell you the truth, for quite some time, I was experiencing low levels of energy. I tend to be always in a bad mood with low energy and dragging myself throughout the day. And the least I knew that I had deficiency of vitamin B12. So I got my lab work done and yes, I had the deficiency of vitamin B12 and I started taking the liquid vitamin B12. I actually took this one, um, the Nature's Bounty Vitamin B12. This is in a liquid form. So basically you just have to take one dropper full. That's how it looks like. So it has 0.5 ml and 1 ml measuring. I, I, I took 1 ml 
under the tongue and you want to hold it for about 30 seconds and then you swallow it and I did take it for at least I would say two weeks before I started seeing drastic changes. My energy level was so up. I was in happy mood. I like before I was drinking like a lot of a lot of caffeine and nothing was working for me. And after I started taking this vitamin B12 supplement, it was a new caffeine for me because this literally helped uh, increase my energy level and help with my mood. And here's the thing, the effect of vitamin B12 on mood is not yet fully understood, but it does play a vital role in synthesizing and um, metabolizing serotonin. And you know, serotonin is the happy hormone uh, and it's basically chemically responsible for regulating your mood. So that could be the reason why, you know, my mood was so low while I was deficient in vitamin B12. But regardless, vitamin B12 deficiency may lead to decreased serotonin production, which may cause a depressed mood. Actually, there was a study conducted in people with depression and low vitamin B12, and it was found that those who received both antidepressants and vitamin B12 were more likely to show improved uh, depressive symptoms compared to those who were just treated with antidepressants. And... But here's an important thing to note. If you feel depressed and you have low mood and you don't want to, then you don't you don't want to just start taking vitamin B12 thinking that, oh, vitamin B12 is going to help with my mood because it's only going to help with your mood if you are deficient in vitamin B12. If you're not deficient in vitamin B12, then it's not going to help with your mood because that's not the function of this vitamin, right? Um, it's going to help improve the mood and depression in people who are deficient, not in people who have normal levels of vitamin B12. Now, this is not a very common vitamin. A lot of people don't really have it on their nutritional radar, yet it's essential to some of the most important body functions like like I mentioned before, forming red blood cells and maintaining the nerve functions. Now, you know, a lot of the times this gets unnoticed because vitamin B12 is not your uh, normal vitamin that's tested in your routine lab work. So, you know, it's very common for this vitamin to get unnoticed. But over time, this deficiency can cause anemia, can cause nerve damage, it can even uh, cause some issues with the memory, and also the ability of your body uh, to absorb vitamin B12 from the food declines with age, and that's why this deficiency is common in older adults, right? That still doesn't mean that children are or young people are not going to have this deficiency. Also, pregnant and breastfeeding women can develop this deficiency so it's very very important that you know the signs and symptoms that can identify the deficiency of this vitamin in your body so let's talk about the signs and symptoms of vitamin b12 deficiency now number one and the most important would be fatigue and here is why um, your body needs vitamin b12 to function properly and having inadequate vitamin B12 levels can decrease the normal red blood cell production, which can impair the oxygen delivery, right? You know that the red blood cells basically deliver oxygen to the body that gives energy. But when your body doesn't have enough healthy red blood cells to carry oxygen to the tissues, you'll feel very weak, fatigued, and tired. Now, another sign that indicate vitamin B12 deficiency is that you're having that pale or yellow skin, and that's also a sign of anemia, right? So basically, anemia related to vitamin B12 may make your skin pale because your red blood cells are not fully matured, and they're not healthy red blood cells. Your body is lacking iron because of those unhealthy red blood cells and thus turning your skin very pale. 
The third sign of vitamin B12 deficiency is that you experience neurological symptoms like headache or uh, parathesia of hands and feet. Now, parathesia is a medical term that refers to like a burning or uh, like pins and needles type of sensation in certain areas of the body, especially your hands and feet. Now, here's the key point. Unfortunately, this symptom of, uh, you know, feeling of pins and needles in your uh, feet and hand overlaps uh, with the a symptom of diabetic neuropathy because in diabetic neuropathy the nerve damage uh, caused by high blood sugar level can also cause pain and numbness in your extremities so this is something to keep in mind that you don't want to confuse the diabetic neuropathy with the vitamin b12 pins and needles sensation and and unfortunately another uh, you know confusing thing is that a lot of diabetic people take metformin, uh, which is the generic for glucophage. And this medication is very commonly prescribed to control blood sugar. Um, and the thing is, this medication after long-term use can cause vitamin B12 deficiency. And, and this is because this medication basically can reduce the absorption of vitamin B12 in the body. So of course, diabetic people who are taking metformin are actually at increased risk of uh, vitamin B12 deficiency. And they may experience peripheral neuropathy uh, due to the vitamin B12 deficiency or due to high levels of glucose in their blood. That's why I highly recommend that people taking metformin regularly uh, should get screened for their vitamin B12 deficiency. This should be their regular lab test. All right, now let's talk about the fourth sign of vitamin B12 deficiency. And that's feeling down, low energy, almost like depression. And it's because vitamin B12 is essential to the proper functioning of your central uh, nervous system and a deficiency in this nutrient can impact your mental health. What happens is having low levels of B12 can cause elevated levels of um, sulfur-containing amino acids, which is called homocysteine. And in turn, this can contribute to development of uh, depression by increasing the oxidative stress also increasing the DNA damage and cell death in the body. I know this sounds very complicated, but just remember that vitamin B12 plays a vital role in mood because it's also impacting the serotonin levels that I mentioned earlier, right? Another thing I want to point out is uh, that because the deficiency in vitamin B12 negatively impacts the central nervous system, uh, people with this vitamin deficiency may, may feel very foggy, like they have difficulty concentrating. So this vitamin is not just affecting the mood, but it's also affecting your ability to concentrate. All right, the fifth and the last symptom of vitamin B12 deficiency that I want to talk about is the deficiency of this vitamin may cause gastrointestinal issues like you may experience diarrhea or nausea or you know constipation bloating gas or you know other gastrointestinal issues and these issues can affect both adults and children now keep in mind that many of these symptoms are non-specific and you know many other uh, factors could cause these gastric issues, right? For example, if you have food intolerance, a lot of the medications have this, you know, gastrointestinal uh, side effect. Also, many infections can lead to diarrhea or upset stomach. That's why it's very important that if you suspect that you have vitamin B12 deficiency, like you have multiple, um, you know, signs and symptoms of vitamin B12 deficiency, then visit a healthcare professional to discuss all these symptoms and undergo appropriate testing. And this is especially relevant if you follow a restrictive diet, like if you are vegan and you're over the age of 60 years, or if you are pregnant or breastfeeding, or you have a medical condition that can deplete the vitamin B12 levels. Um, also, if you're taking medications like uh, metformin or proton pump inhibitors like uh, your omeprazole, pentoprazole, these are the proton pump inhibitors which can cause the deficiency of vitamin B12. 
But the main thing is that you don't want to self-treat yourself because there could be some other underlying cause of these symptoms. Many of these symptoms caused by low B12 levels are not specific to B12 deficiency, right? So you want to make sure that you undergo appropriate testing and get the right treatment. And if you are diagnosed with uh, very low levels of B12, your healthcare professional will recommend the most appropriate treatment. Um, it may include some, you know, vitamin B12 injections. That's prescription only, the cyanocobalamin injections. Um, that's prescription, but uh, the oral B12 supplements, like I take this liquid supplement because I had like a borderline uh, deficiency of vitamin B12. It wasn't too bad. So the liquid over-the-counter vitamin B12 worked for me. The B12 injections are recommended for people who can generally, you know, they can't just absorb vitamin B12 from food at all, or their body just doesn't tend to, you know, handle supplements well, or those who have undergone gastric bypass surgery, or people who have certain autoimmune diseases. But Otherwise, general healthy population with the low bit deficiency of vitamin B12 work just fine with over-the-counter supplements of vitamin B12. The bottom line is that vitamin B12 deficiency can be crucial for your health. And because it's super easy to prevent, you should not, you know, let it go unnoticed. And I hope this video provided you awareness on vitamin B12. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time with another informative video on health, pharmacy, and beauty. Until then, take care. Bye. Hey guys, if you found value in this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and remember to subscribe to stay up to date on new weekly videos.